DVDs and all, 2020, 10, 10, 10, two boxes of them, give me 10, 10, I need 10, 5, I'm going to be now, 5, I'm going to be now, 5, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 3, 4, 3, 4, 4, 3, 4, 4, 3, 4, 4, 3, 4, 4, 3, 4, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 20, I talk quite a bit about how I sell DVDs and my process with them on my uh, second channel, uh, Philly Flip Live, uh, when I am doing my order pool videos. So if you guys like the kind of content, please subscribe to that uh, channel. But what I do mainly with DVDs is I lot them up in uh, six or eight. I do it by actor or by genre. And they sell actually really quick uh, that way. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do with the DVDs here. Also, there was a couple of sealed guys here as well that I sold individually. Uh, so I estimate I have about sixty to seventy dollars worth of DVDs from this two dollar purchase. We got Barbie. We got the cabbage patch. The cabbage patch. We got the light bulb. And they look like arts and crafts in here. Wait a minute, is that a cabbage patch with a suntan? <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars. Go look at the Dan. 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 Dino. Then look at the Dan. Five bucks and go. Five bucks. <laughs> Five dollar bill. Five, two, three, two, three, three. I need two, three, three, two, three, 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 Single ten of the day, give me five dollars one of the bomb. I need five of the bomb. Two thousand gold to the number of the day. I need to do the ring, give me more. I need to be in that chase. You got Howard. There you go. On Howard right there, folks. Nice rollings, catcher's glove, bat catcher glove, nice, nice another glove. Wow, everything but the baseball field. You got another glove, you got another glove in there. 25, 25, spring season is coming around, 25, 15, I'm gonna give it to you, give it to you, give it to you, give it to you, give me 10 bucks and go. I need to 10, to 10, 12 and a half, 10, to 12 and a half, 15, give it to you. I need 15, go 15, now 17 and a half, now 20. I need 12, I'm gonna give it to you, I'm gonna give it to you, now 22 and a half, 25, I'm gonna give it to you, 25, watch out, 20, I need 25, 27 and a half, 27 and a half, 30, 30, 30, 30, I need 30, 30, 32 and a half, 32, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 35, 35, 35, 37 and a half, 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 35 dollars to buy a number. <laughs> Five zero four. Uh, okay, so I put this part in here because I get this question quite a bit in my comment section, and the question is, does anybody else there ever bid, or do you just win everything? And the answer is yes. People bid, people bid quite a bit, and there's lots of lots that are go up that I don't win. I'm at this auction house usually for around two and a half to three hours, so I have that much footage. And I usually cut it down to two 20 minute videos. So there's a lot of stuff that I cut out of, of the auction houses. So there's plenty of lots that I don't bid on and there's a lot of lots that I bid on and don't win. For example, like this one right here. So I want to hear your advice on this one. You think I should have kept going on this baseball lot. Um, they had a Ryan Howard jersey, but it was like a kid's jersey. After we gave Ryan Howard a big contract and he didn't produce, he's not the most popular guy in Philadelphia right now. So I don't think the jersey's going to sell for that much. The thing I mainly wanted the most was that Rawlings catcher's glove. I think that's probably worth around 40 to 50 bucks. The other three gloves were eh. Nike baseball bag probably could have sold for some decent money. And then the bats in there, I looked at them earlier, they were like junior bats. They were they were very short, like they, they were very short bats. So I couldn't get that much money for them either. If I were to guess, it's probably like around $80 to $100 worth of value in there. $30 was like my max I wanted to pay for it. And it looks like that guy that was I was bidding against was not giving up anytime soon. So I uh, so he won it at 35. I wish him the best of luck flipping that, and I hope he makes money. That was a little too rich for my blood. I need six seven seven. I gotta be seven. I gotta be seven. Come again. I need seven. Seven seven. I gotta eight. Eight thousand. I need eight thousand. I need eight thousand. Seven hundred eight. So seven dollars to buy it. Number five fourteen. Got a ninja. Ninja. Great. You got a ninja with eight million attachments. Twenty five. Twenty five. One hundred and ninety seven. And seen on TV. 25 and go. 25 and go. 25 and go. 25. 10 bucks. 10 dollars on the ninja. That was by accident. Huh? 10, 12 and a half. I need 12 and a half. I need 12 and a half. 10 dollars. I need 12 and a half. 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 11 dollars. I need 11 and a half. 10 and a half. 11 and a half. 10 and a half. 11 and a half. Stolen. 10 dollars. Buying number 493. 493. Over here. Reads. You got a load of brand new Teflon takeware. You brought the mother pots. You know what happened? You never got it. 325. 
Teflon bakeware. These on the Teflon bakeware right there. I got Pumpkins. more. I got more. Whoa. Oh, that's mine. Big Go. win. 25. So I end up winning this Ninja Blender and its millions of accessories for only $10. I was actually pretty shocked that it went for that low because kitchenware in this um, auction house goes for some decent money. Uh, so what I decided to do with it was part it out. Because one in doubt, part it out, right? Um, I have a little confession to make, guys. That line was actually Kevin's. I stole the line from Kevin. Just don't tell him I said that, though, okay? That's between me, you guys, and whoever sees this video. Just don't tell Kevin I stole his line. He doesn't know that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But look at all. Uh, so I parted it all out. I got a total of 11 lots out of all the stuff that are here. That are here. And when it and then when everything eventually sells, I should have $196 out of this $10 investment. When in doubt, part out, always works. That's right. And all these, too. What we got? Hey, you got, you got a toaster, Two you bucks. got a waffle maker, and you got this. Not bad. All right, toaster, waffle maker, it looks like <laughs> part of a blender right there. Just right. missing the attachments. Ten bucks. I need to ten, to ten. I need to go to ten, to go to ten. How about that car, too? What about that little wagon? You got it. Little chrome wagon right there, no wheels. Give me ten bucks. Bob and go. I need five to go to five, 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 two, three, go to three. I need to go to three, three, go to three. Is that a bit? I need to go to three, now go to three, two to go to three. So, two dollars to buy a number. 493. Again, plumber. sir, if you want a cart, just load the stuff up in the cart when you get a chance. Next. Liquid plumber. Liquid plumber. 25, 10 bucks, 10 bucks, 5 bucks. 3 dollars, 3, 4. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 20, 10, 10, 5, and go, 3, 3, 3, 3, 7, 9, 8, 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9, 9, 11, 9, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, more two shares in there. There you go. Twenty, 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 twenty,
Come on. Wow, there you go. Probably need rabies shot after that. <laughs> Light switch, reflex. How about that box right there, Butch, right in front? You know, the one, the one with the weights. And we're going to get a nice little hand weights right there. Dime Master. I mean, the 20 bullet going to 10, going to damn pile, going to damn pile, going to damn 3,000 go. I need 20 bullet going to damn 3, 3, 3, 3. I need 20 bullet going to 2,000 go. 2, 3, 2, 3, 3. 20 bullet going to 3. Have 2, 9, 20 bullet going to 3, 20 bullet going to 3, 20 bullet going to 3, 20 bullet going to 3. So, 2 dollars to buy number 493. 493. Little guitar handles right there, folks. Co hangers. Give me five, 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 three, 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 why did you just buy this? <laughs> it's always so funny. So the reason why I bought this is because of the shark liquid that was in there. I bought that same um, liquid uh, bottle. It's to refill your steamer mop, I think. It's like a solution, liquid solution to to refill your steamer mop. And those things sell for some decent money. I sold one last summer for 50 bucks, so I knew there was at least $50 worth of value there. So for $2, that's why I bought it. Uh, I talked about this on my other channel as well, is that when I look at these auction lots, there's one item that I want, and then the rest of the stuff they throw in, I call them just sweeteners. Because the way I look at it is, I'm just paying $2 for the $50 item, and whatever else I get afterwards, it's just, just like a pure cherry on top. And some of the sweeteners here are pretty good. Like that light switch, that thing sells for $40. Most of the other stuff I either threw away or donated, but I did list the Maraca for 12. I listed the, the low back spinal training thing for 20. That originally comes with more accessories and a DVD. If you had the full set, it sells for some decent money, but the low back by itself just sells for $20. But altogether, I should have about $120 in sales from that $2 that I spent. That's why, Junior. That's why. 282, meet his halfway. Electric Peter. On the heater, to 10, to 10, for bomb. I need five to go to bomb, five to go to bomb, three to go to three. I need three to go to three, now three to go to three. I need three to go to three, now three to go to three, now three. Two dollars and go. Where'd Junior go? Electric Peter. Two dollars and go. Where'd Junior go? Two dollars. Now two. 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 On the heater. It's cold in here. Can I get two bucks? <laughs> Give me more. You need another pressure cooker. All right, you're gonna get another pressure cooker right there, folks. There you go. Wow, sneakers. And a head dryer. Eat rice. Start running in the hair dryer. <laughs> Folks, this old new stuff right there. Look at that hair dryer. Five bucks. I need five to get about three, three, four to get around, four to get a bit four. I need four to get a bit four to get a bit four. It's like brand new from the 60s. I need four to get around, four to get a bit four. I need four to get around, four to get a bit four. Three is but I need four. So three dollars to buy. Oh, whoa, I got you. Three dollars. Too late. I can't see all the way over there. Three dollars to buy number 493. Win it out. Get it out. Rock, you get a nice box of picture frames. Photos and the plants and all. The Lord, have a nice little African car figurine tent. And a coffee maker. I need to go to the dinner, go to the dinner, go to the dinner, go to the dinner, I need to go to the dinner, 2000 go. I need you to. Give me more, two, two, I got it. Two to the three, two to the number, two to the three. And two to the number, two to the three. So, two dollars to buy number, 493. Two dollars to buy number, 514. Right bill, right bill. Yeah, now we up to 57. Black and Dagger. Black and Dagger, what we up? So yeah, we are now back at the warehouse. Thank you guys so much for watching. So this video is probably gonna be at least two parts, maybe three parts based on how much footage I still have left it's really hard for me to go and get like three hours of footage down into one video it's almost impossible especially since a lot of you guys want to see everything that i pick up and I know a lot of you guys are enjoying these kind of videos so two or three videos per auction house i'm sure it's not going to upset that many people in here i'm going to talk about the last two lots that i that i won so that didn't show any breakdowns on the thing so talk about the last one first that's the one with the keurig in there and like the the random box of miscellaneous I wanted it for two dollars, and I wanted it for one reason, one reason only. Here, here's the Keurig, right there. I had a Keurig that I bought at a yard sale for ten dollars, and that thing broke about two months ago. It's long overdue. I had a teapot. I've been doing a lot of tea at the warehouse, but somebody, I always need my coffee. I always need my coffee. So when one came up there at the auction house for two dollars, I was like, no brainer. 
give it to me two dollars yes please and that's one thing about the auction houses that people don't realize is a lot of things that i buy there are for personal use another extra benefit of these auction houses is that i can get personal items for me for super super cheap so um that was why i was bidding on it was for for that keurig machine but again the sweetener in there was that box uh, most of the box got uh, donated but i did list two things in that box it was um an angel's uh a really like tall i can't i think it's, i can show it to you guys it's over here somewhere um an angel uh, coloring book that i'm listing for 20 dollars. it's like it's huge look at this thing right here that's a coloring book uh, it's from the 90s all the pages are, are brand new like nothing's been colored I couldn't find anything like it when I was doing my research, but one from the same um, press, but it was, it was like a lighthouses or, or boats or something sold for 20. So I was like, if that's up for 20, I'm sure I can sell the angels one for 20. So I listed that. And also from there, there was a sealed photo album, which is down there. I listed that guy for 15 and there's still some more stuff in that box that I didn't go, didn't go through yet. So there could be something else that I, that is still worth reselling. But as of now, the $2 that I spent is going to result in $35 in resale value plus a Keurig for myself. Now the other lot, the other lot is pretty interesting because that lot, that lot I won for $3 and that lot included a rice cooker, which is down there, right there. See that rice cooker? <laughs> included a rice cooker. It included, um, a vintage hair dryer which is really cool look at that thing super chromey i'm listening to that rice cooker for 45 listen to the hair dryer for 50. uh there was a pair of puma shoes that are, that are home need to be cleaned i'm probably gonna get around 30 to 40 bucks for those and the funny part was it had a huge heater as well like a, a portable heater and i listed that locally because it was freezing all last week and the girl that came to pick it up her name is devin she goes to the same auction house as me, but she wasn't there that day, or I think she came late, so she didn't get a chance to bid on it. I was like, you could have got this for like two bucks. <laughs> it, it, it was it was so funny. Like, it was pretty funny. I was like, I see you at the auction house. You could have got this for two dollars. So uh, I was listening for 25. I gave it to her for 20 because I, I felt kind of bad. <laughs> but uh, that was a pretty, pretty funny interaction there. So I got, out of the three dollar lot, I should have about $150 in value. And so unless my math is terribly wrong, which it could be, I'm not the best math guy, um, according to my calculations, in this part of the video, I spent $35 only on everything that you guys saw. $35 only. And if everything sells, I should have about $880 in value. I've got $35 spent. Now that would be a great like day yard selling. That would be a great Saturday yard selling. This is just like the first hour of the auction house. That's why I, I love that place so much. I have so much fun going there. I have so much fun editing these videos. So I really, it, it's really like put a smile on my face that you guys are enjoying this kind of content because I love making it. Uh, enough me blabbering about the auction house, right? Let's see who wins that Looney Tunes t-shirt. All right, so let's see who wins this Looney Tunes t-shirt plus all the stickers. Guys, there's two hundred and four unique comments man thank you guys so much for the support okay i just click start and we will see who wins good luck to everybody let's see who wins tweety great video thanks for sharing you qualify allison rivera thank you so much allison congrats to you uh allison rivera uh that's an awesome win right there the shirt is packed up ready to go stickers are ready to go all i need from you is to either email me my email is in the description down below or message me on instagram affiliate underscore flipper your name and address and i will have it shipped out to you hope you really like that shirt so that's going to be it for me guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video here's my puppy sasha peace out